Hello children, I am Scarfield and I'm going to be your teacher for today. Today we're going to learn about telling time. This is an analog clock. It has three different pointers to know the three different units of time. Seconds, minutes, and hours. And they're also known as hands. The tin red pointer is called the seconds hand because it helps us keep track of the seconds. The longer black pointer is called the minutes hand and it helps us keep track of minutes. And the shorter black pointer is called the hours hand because it helps us keep track of the hours. And the circle itself is called the clock face. If the second hand is pointing up and we want to move to the next line, one second have passed. Next line, two seconds have passed. Next line, three seconds. And when it moves all around the clock, 60 seconds have passed. The minute hand is same like the second hand. The main difference is that it moves slower, 60 times slower to be exact. Since a minute is 60 times longer than a second, while the second hand moves all around the clock, the minute hand only moves one line to the next or once the second hand makes a full rotation. Okay, so now we know how the second and minute hand works. When the second hand moves all the way around the clock, the minute hand increases by one. So what happens when eventually the minute hand goes all the way around the clock? That is called 60 minutes. The 60 minutes is equivalent to one hour. When the minute hand goes all the way around the clock, it one hour of time has passed. And now that's how we track the hour hand. And that's how we tell the time. Okay, children, that's our lesson for today. Bye, see you again tomorrow.